So last week I discussed sport and sex and how men are pretty obsessed with their penises, but do they prefer it to sport? Well this week we're going to tackle women and their obsession with food. I mean I don't know if I'm alone in this, but um, I think about food a lot. Literally the only reason I get out of bed in the morning is to go and have breakfast. I don't know what it is about food and women. We think about it all day, we talk about it with our friends a lot. And you know, we're always seeing celebrities in magazines or on the internet with their ridiculously flawless bodies that are completely unattainable to the normal person. So you know what? I say, fuck it. You go have that chocolate brownie, because it's fucking delicious. Hence why this week's topic is 10 reasons why you shouldn't go on a diet. One, when women diet, there will be a point in the week where we'll either binge or overeat or have ridiculous eating patterns and that's just not good. Two, diets are fucking boring. Food is delicious. And normally the types of food you restrict yourself from eating when you're on a diet are the most delicious. Pizza, spaghetti carbonara, nachos, lasagna, pancakes, baguettes. The list is literally endless. Three? Okay, this is a bit more of a serious reason. They're generally not very effective. I mean, you can literally starve yourself for weeks, months. But then the moment your diet stops, you're going to overcompensate, probably end up putting the weight back on. Mm, four? You should really learn to like the way you look and be confident with it and just love yourself. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to tell the world. I'm Emily and I love myself! Five! There's a lot of guilt when you're on a diet. Food literally turns into your enemy. Do you want a chocolate? No. Go on. Just a little bite. Stop it! But I'm so delicious. Oh my god, that's delicious! Six. Diet has the word die in it. That cannot be good. Seven. I personally would love to have more junk in my trunk. It would literally take my pyjama dance to a whole new level. Normal pyjama dance. Subscribe, comment, like, follow. Subscribe, comment, like, follow. Pyjama dance with booty. Subscribe, comment, like, follow. Subscribe, comment, like, follow. Hello. Just has more impact. Eight. When you're on a diet, you're just gonna make everyone around you as miserable as you are. Oh, Ivy, I'm starving. Help. That's not helping. Ivy, how many calories are in these? I can't see the information. Where are you going? Nine. You're gonna end up sniffing food. And men watching, you probably don't really know what I'm talking about, although you'll know the concept of sniffing food, but you might not have actually seen it. I've actually done it when I've been on a diet. You know when you see an open bag of chocolate buttons in your fridge, but you really can't eat one? We will sniff them. Oh yes, we will. Emily, what are you doing? Um, sniffing cheese. And 10. Always like to end on a positive note. Dieting will make you mental. There's so many more other things in the world to care about than going on a diet, like pizza. So, just try and eat healthy, do a little bit of exercise, try not to drink so much. I know the results probably won't be as immediate as you being on the whatever stupid cabbage broccoli diet, but I assure you, you will be a happier person. So, continuing on with my top comments section of the show, this week we have... Emily, please suck my D dot 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 dot. That is some excellent Morse code you have there. And no, I won't. Door and door frame need a fresh coat of paint. This is not what you're supposed to be focusing on. Granted, yes they do. You will be waiting a long time for that to happen. Oh look, it's suburban fuckface. I don't really even know what that means. You know what, talking about all this food has made me starving. I might just go and sniff some chocolate. 